In a world of high-tech fitness fads and extravagant gym memberships, it's easy to overlook the profound power hidden within centuries-old training techniques. The horse stance is an ancient practice that has been a foundational form of training for many traditional martial arts systems, and it still has tremendous physical and mental benefits even today. It's called the horse stance because the posture resembles someone riding on a horse. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the surprising benefits this seemingly simple exercise has to offer, as well as instructions on how to perform it properly for you to receive the maximum benefits from this exercise and what you need to know to avoid injury from improper practice. Believe me when I tell you that if you have never done horse stance training before, it is much more difficult than it may look. There are many people who train weighted squats as well as other leg exercises regularly that are surprised how taxing it is to perform. You'll wanna stick around for the entire video because we are going to add some elements to the horse stance training that will also help develop your upper body, including some ancient Kung Fu exercises that enhance forearm development and help you build tremendous grip strength. Now let's explore a few of the advantages of incorporating horse stance training into your daily routine. Number one is horse stance training strengthens the lower body. Horse stance training primarily targets the muscles in your lower body. Holding this stance engages your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. Over time, you'll notice increased leg and hip strength. This is especially beneficial for athletes and those seeking to enhance their physical performance in various activities. Number two is horse stance training enhances endurance. The mental fortitude required to maintain a horse stance for extended periods trains your mind to push through discomfort and build endurance. It's a fantastic way to develop mental toughness, a quality that transcends physical fitness and can be applied to various aspects of life. The Chinese would equate horse stance training with a concept they refer to as eating bitterness due to the physical and mental endurance that is required to achieve the desired results. Much like taking medicine that tastes bitter or unpleasant, but eventually yields healing or health benefits. The third benefit of horse stance training is it improves balance and stability. Steadiness and balance are key components of a strong foundation for any physical activity. Horse stance training hones your ability to stay grounded and helps you find your center of balance, making it an invaluable asset in sports, martial arts, and daily life. Number four is horse stance training promotes flexibility. Horse stance training enhances your flexibility by forcing your body to adapt to a deep squat position. Over time, you'll notice improved range of motion in your hips, knees, and ankles, which can help prevent injuries and enhance your overall mobility. Number five is improved mental focus and discipline. Holding a horse stance for an extended period requires an unwavering concentration. The mental benefits of this practice are just as significant as the physical ones. It promotes discipline, patience, and the ability to silence the chatter of a busy mind. Number six is stress reduction. The meditative aspect of horse stance training allows you to let go of stress and anxiety. As you enter a state of deep concentration, you'll find yourself immersed in the present moment, releasing tension and calming your mind. Number seven is horse stance training is very versatile. Horse stance training is a highly versatile exercise that can be done virtually anywhere and at any time. Its simplicity and adaptability make it an ideal daily practice. For example, you can start your day with a dose of horse stance training while brushing your teeth or waiting for your morning coffee to brew, assume the horse stance. Likewise, practicing the horse stance before bed can help relax your muscles, release tension, and prepare your body for a peaceful night's sleep. Also, instead of lounging on the couch during your favorite TV show, use that time to work on your horse stance. You can maintain the position during commercial breaks or even throughout an entire episode. This is an excellent way to accumulate minutes of practice without disrupting your daily schedule. For those with desk jobs, sitting for long periods can lead to stiffness and reduced circulation. Incorporate horse stance training into your breaks. Find an open space, stand up, and hold the stance for a few minutes. This can help improve your posture and alleviate the negative effects of prolonged sitting. If you frequent the gym, include horse stance training in between sets of other exercises. It's an effective way to maximize your workout time and add variety to your fitness routine. Now let's cover how to perform the horse stance training. First, it is important to have the proper footwear. It's best to have shoes that have a flat and level sole since shoes that have elevated heels can affect your balance and cause incorrect weight distribution in your feet. 
Although there are many different methods of performing the horse stance, for the purpose of this video, you will begin with your feet together and then raise your heels and pivot them outward. Next, raise your toes and turn your feet outward by pivoting on the heels. Finally, pivot your feet on toes half a turn so your toes are facing forward. The next point is very important. Lower your body by pivoting in the pelvis area to avoid having your knees move forward past your toes. Try to keep your back as straight as possible and utilize a partial posterior tilt of your pelvis so your tailbone is slightly tucked under your body, which will also assist in helping to engage the core. The weight distribution should be 50-50 in each leg, with the weight and balance being concentrated in the center of each foot. For optimal results, the ideal height is to sink low enough so the thighs are parallel to the ground. A very common practice is to keep a staff or rod across your thighs to ensure you are low enough. But, as with any exercise, it's important to listen to your body. And if for some reason, you are not able to go that low at first, just go as low as you can. Even if you can't go down to the parallel thigh position, you will still feel the burn and effects in your legs eventually, depending on your level of fitness. We are going to be utilizing the arms and hands in just a few moments, but if you want to train the horse stance exclusively for leg strength and endurance, we have demonstrated a few suggestions on how to place them while holding the horse stance position. You can add an isometric element to work the chest and shoulders while pressing your palms together in a prayer position and pushing them against one another. You can adjust positions to work different muscle groups. You can also try a variation with the elbows squeezing together to really work your pecs. Just be sure to avoid holding your breath throughout the exercises. Some common errors to avoid when performing the horse stance are having an anterior pelvic tilt or curve in the lower back, leaning forward or backward, allowing your knees to collapse or face inward, bending from the knee as opposed to sinking from the pelvis, and lastly going too low, so your thighs are below 90 degrees. If you're a beginner, you can start by attempting to stay in the horse stance for one minute and try increasing the time limits by 10 seconds as your strength and endurance increases. A helpful tip is to try and use a timer with an audible alarm and make sure you do not allow yourself to see the timer or look at the clock if at all possible, as this can disrupt your focus and concentration. Focus on your breathing by inhaling through the nose and out the mouth. As you are feeling the burn in your legs, try to imagine the pain is being expelled out of the body with every exhale. Now let's cover some exercises you can do while sitting in the horse stance to strengthen your grip, which will also help keep your mind from focusing exclusively on the pain in your legs. The first one is called the speed grab exercise. While in the horse stance, extend your arms out in front of you while keeping your shoulders relaxed. With your palms facing forward and your fingers extended and facing straight up, open and close your hand into a fist repeatedly as fast as you can. To get the most out of this exercise, it's vital to make sure the angle of the back of your hands and the wrists stays as close to 90 degrees as possible during the entire exercise. It's also equally important to ensure that you both open and close your hands completely. Another grip exercise you can try while standing in the horse stance comes from the Tiger Claw Kung Fu system. Extend both arms out to the sides with the palms pushed out and curl the last three fingers of each hand inward while leaving the index finger pointing straight up. Also, pull the thumb back towards the side of the palms. Bend the elbows and turn the palms inward towards your shoulders and flex your wrists inwards as you inhale, then exhale, and form your hands into claws utilizing tension in the palms. The tiger claw is formed by first stretching the fingers back, then curl the fingers and thumb into a claw position. Increase the tension in your hands as they begin to close, but don't allow them to close completely into fists. You want to focus as if you are trying to squeeze and dig your fingernails into a large ball, such as a basketball or soccer ball. As you are pulling your arms in towards your body, exhale and maintain tension in the muscles of your arms as if you are pulling on tight ropes or bands. Then turn your palms outward to form the single finger palm configuration once again. Inhale and then exhale. Press the palms out with tension in your arms and as if you are pressing against two walls on each side of your body. Then repeat. 
Once again, it is important to keep the wrist bent at a 90 degree angle to get the maximum results in the forearms as you press out and exhale. You can also do a variation of this exercise with the hands in front of the body, which can also be done individually on each arm. The next exercise is called the snake turns over. Instead of using a regular fist, we are going to use a hand formation known as the Phoenix Eye Fist. Curl the last three fingers of your hand as if you were making a regular fist, but protrude the knuckle of the index finger and place the thumb on the side for support. This position will allow you to more fully flex the wrist to facilitate better forearm activation during this exercise. Start off with your hands as Phoenix Eye Fists in a chambered position at the sides of your body. Inhale then, use dynamic tension to tightly flex the biceps as you bring your hands in front of the body. Bend the wrists back as far as you can and maintain the bent wrist position as you rotate them to your front. Then, open your hands with the fingers together and pointing up, being sure to keep the wrists at a 90 degree angle as you exhale and push forward with tension. To complete one repetition of this exercise, circle the hands so the palms face up and curl your fingers into tight fists as you retract your arms back to the starting position on the sides of your body as you inhale and prepare to execute your next repetition. Like the other exercises, you can also perform this exercise one arm at a time. Be sure to really work hard at mentally focusing as much intent as you can into the hands as you are performing these exercises. Before we move on to the next exercise, let us know in the comments section what is the longest you have been able to hold the horse stance? Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive more of our content. The next exercise involves using the crane beak hand formations. Begin with your elbows pulled in and resting on your torso. Form a hook hand or crane beak position with your hands by bringing the fingertips and thumb together and most importantly, flex the wrists tightly. Then quickly snap the hands open and focus on pressing the heel of the palms downward while keeping the thumb in roughly its same position and stretching and spreading the fingers as much as possible. Then snap the hands back up into the starting crane beak position, mentally focusing on the back of the wrists. To gain the most benefit from this exercise, keep the elbows locked in place against the torso and make sure you fully contract into the beak position and fully extend when opening the hands. Go as fast as you can exhaling as you open the hands and don't sacrifice proper form for speed. Be sure to check out some of our other videos on health and fitness. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.